Uh, so I don't know if anyone saw the interview with uh, Aaron Brown, who ran, I think, sixth in the 200 meter final, Canadian behind Andre. In his interview, uh, and I just see on the internet that he's had a long battle with his own self doubt. But yeah, the interview after the race really struck me how balanced he is now. Uh, I, I believe he's the one, he, he, he has a picture of his wife and newborn child under his bib on his race. And he says, I race for them. And I also race for, obviously for Canada and everybody else, but uh, he seemed very centered and grounded and purposeful. Um, and I'll back him up. Uh, I heard the interview with Andre's mom and she did basically say, yeah, he's feeling the weight of the world on her shoulders. Um, but, and, I, and I've got to run for my COVID test, so I'm going to leave this on. I'll turn the sound down in case Barb runs in here, but uh, I'll be back probably in about a half hour, 40 minutes. Okay. Again, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping Barb would get on because, uh, Tim, can you mention a bit about Barb's background related to expertise in this same field? Uh, I will leave her a note. She, she like still, she's out for a run right now. Um, <laughs> and, and she does have a backlog of clients. So I'm not sure she'll be able to, like, she's got clients, I think at uh, 11, but I'll leave her a note. She's a basically a clinical psychologist still. Um, and it's in some ways like you, she got a degree in kinesiology at Guelph and then ended up going back and getting a master's and a PhD in psychology. And so she has a, functioning practice here and she's really the um, sort of the uh, leadership uh, consultant for good life fitness um, does a lot of their uh, leadership counseling uh, both clinically if people need it and um, emotional intelligence uh, guidance and testing and stuff with good life fitness so I'll leave her a note in case she does have a minute to jump back on <laughs> 